If I want to increase my likelihood of getting laid, I must adapt and become a bad boy because that's what most women favorably respond to sexually. Hold on, let her. You have anything for that? It goes both ways. I mean, with she- <laughs> how does it go both ways? With chivalry, I mean, as well. Like, you can't. You you got to respect to be respected. You can't just just plainly go off generaliz- generalizations. You go on a date with a woman who does appreciate it, but you turn out to be a dick. How does that make you look? Naturally, she's going to reject you if you're a nice guy or a bad guy. I mean, it just depends if but if you connect with the person. Just That's just how... Well, fresh. That's what he's saying, though. Are, he's saying that not everybody... We are not saying to be mean to women. We're saying, for example, the traits of an asshole, so to speak, are dominant. They lead, they lead things firsthand, and they don't give a fuck what women think off rip. However, if she deserves that gentleman-like behavior, then she'll get it. But it has to be earned. But it can't be in an abundance either. Yeah, it has to be earned. But, but what I, I mean, I don't understand what you're trying to, what are you, what are you arguing here? I mean, like, I believe. Why is there a saying nice guys finish last and it's lasted for decades? I mean, like, it depends on the guy. If you're a creepo, we're going to reject you. But but, just, but a lot of these creeps are nice guys, is my point. But Fresh Martin, um, have these girls ever had a one night stand before? Like, tell me, who uh, has not had a one night stand before? Who has not? So that, what, that's three out of what ten girls. So yeah, so most so girls actually reward guys who actually has their shit together on the first night. So Chris. why would guys want to, you know, wait? Chris, longer? shut up, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> shut up, bro. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um. So anyway, does that make sense? Yeah, I can't deny that. That jerks in general get more women. It's just how it is. That's old, mm, not true. No. That's old? And, and that old. aspect. Uh, old. I would argue. It depends on the woman. Because oh, the woman can be stupid stop, as stop, hell. Stop, negative. stop, 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 stop. I would argue it's even more pronounced in today's day and age. Not not around. Yeah, not at all. Correct. No, he's not right. Not around. He's, he's right. right, though. Because he's a right. lot of women. Yeah, all right. He's right. Look. It depends on the type of woman that you are. Look, and a lot of women are the type of woman that you are. This is what I mean. Stop, stop, stop. This is what I mean when I say women lack critical thinking skills. Let me explain uh, why it. you're 100 percent wrong. Ooh, the reason okay. why you're wrong is because we have social media, we have dating apps, we have the internet. Do women have more options now or 50 years ago? Mm. Both. No. Both parties. No. Both, both parties have more options now than 50 years ago. Okay, stop. Now, yeah. And I'm going to explain to you why you're wrong about that here in a second. <laughs> Jeez, really? But do women have more options now or 50 years ago? No. Both parties both. have more, op- more I think options. 50, I think both. 50, Realistically both speaking, who both has parties. more options, men or women? Both right parties. now? Both. Both parties. Right now, I think probably probably men because they're women kind of, I don't, I don't know. Both. Shit. Okay, look, look. In discussions of what, sex or, have, or stop, relationship? Look, look, look. This technology look. is both. Stop. Girls, 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 girls. If we're going to have a logically sound conversation that we isn't are. low IQ, we have to understand that men don't have nearly as many options as women, period. Whether it was 1950 or now, most women, okay, find most men is unattractive. That's a fact. It's been proven on dating apps. It's been proven all over the place. There's a reason why she's a dating coach and probably most of her clients are men. There's a reason why we got 12,000 plus people watching here on YouTube. Women don't have issues with attracting men. Men have a lot of issues with attracting women. Can we argue, agree on that? No. Yeah. No, because yeah, if, you're an, if you're an unattractive female, that. your no, I mean, options are a lot more. There's a reason to that. Hold on, there's a reason. Like Tinder, plenty of fish, Bumble, there are plenty of... Yeah, no, I can exactly and, for guys. And the so. men said earlier, how many, how how much percent that men are literally willing to fuck anything? How like a huge percent? They've done like, studies on this where they've literally taken a woman that's fat, obese, unattractive, mm-hmm. and put her Tinder profile up, and then put a man's Tinder profile up. That's in the top one percent of looks. The woman had four <laughs> to five times as yeah. many matches as that man, mm-hmm. and that woman was absolutely deplorable looking. So that's not even a, a, a that's not even a point of argument. A very attractive man has less pull than an average girl. Even a what's below wrong, average girl. What's wrong, what's wrong with Period. That? I'm, is it, is I'm it saying just all that. Or... I'm saying all that to establish the foundation of what me and you were talking about earlier when I said women have more options than men. Now, going back to what I was saying, since women have more options than men, that lets them be more picky. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so if you're more picky, <laughs> that means like you. that you're going to select a man that's better because you have more options. Correct? Yes. No, it's because you, what you said earlier. <laughs> We have to carry a baby. It's gestation. And you know that. Come on, Myron. I've watched your show before. I know that. You should know then that if you watch the show, 
that women look for men that have a bunch of different uh, traits. Tall, so money, men, social though. status, security, strength. Because we are things. carrying your baby. You don't. Yeah. You don't. That does, not, right. that does that, not refute. That does not refute my point that women I mean, have more I'm, options I'm than men do. I'm a human with you. If anything, that in, that increases the chances of them being more selective. Well, well duh. That's it's evolutionary psychology. Okay. Like, what, well, what point what I, are you making? Well, if you would stop interrupting, I'd be able to do so. <laughs> She's just having a conversation. My whole point is, is that chivalry is dead because women have more options than they ever had before thanks to the internet, dating apps, etc. So therefore, why is a girl going to sit there and take roses from the nice guy when she has a bad boy NBA player sliding in her DMs if she's attractive enough? Depends on women the girl. Have more girl shut the days. fuck up! It Everybody shut the, the fuck up. If I'm talking, shut up until I make my point. The reason why you guys keep interrupting what asinine comments is because you don't let me finish You're the saying what the fuck I'm saying. You're the one who's getting triggered right now. You no, told no, no, us no, 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 to no. not get triggered. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. Because you guys have been interrupting the entire time. Gotcha. And then you ask me stupid questions, which I'm about to answer. Stupid questions. But I can't. Yo. It's not stupid questions. I think she got a good But I got you. You think that's funny? What? When you talk, we don't mess you up. No, nah, it's not funny. But I don't like being, I don't like someone saying, shut the fuck up. Because you've been interrupting several times. Then I've counted mind. it. It's been over five. Oh, as I've been then, trying to make this one point. I my mean, bad. he told me and I, I work here. So, so then relax, relax. Shut so if I'm up. making a point, be quiet. There Speak what's spoken to. If please. you said quiet, I would have, yeah, shut that's up. fine. <laughs> but see, here's the thing, though. When you keep doing it, my bad. I have to let you know, hey, mm. shut up. That's fine. You can say shut up. Okay, then. Yeah, I got you. Shut up. Anyway, so what I was saying was the whole point, just to bring this back so this all makes sense. I'm saying chivalry is dead. Romance is dead. Women killed it. Okay? My argument for that is because Instagram, online dating apps, etc. Women have more options than ever before. So since women have more options, they could be more selective. Since they're more selective, they're going to screen harder for men that meet certain metrics since women have more options. So therefore, nice guys didn't have a chance before. Now they have even less of a chance because women have options that extend states. A girl that's in LA can get a DM from a dude in New York if her Instagram profile is good enough and get flown out within a couple of days. Women have more options now. So therefore, why the fuck is a girl that's hot that's in the middle of Topeka, Kansas gonna tolerate a guy locally next to her giving her some flowers saying, oh, you're so beautiful when she could go ahead and get flown out by another guy. So if anything, today with internet and modern day society, it's made women even less appreciative of chivalrous and nice guys. Correct. That's my argument. He now I'm trying to tell. The okay. thing is, the internet is way more desperate now. So mm. the thing is, men are more desperate. But he's not saying that everybody's like that. Though. My my point is, is that he's saying chivalry is dead. The thing is, men have become more desperate in this day and age, which is why women become way more or less. It's way more easier to select a man because men are but, more so easy to jump on any on any woman on anything that they can. That doesn't now in this day argument. and age, especially on internet dating ads, because that's times out of ten because. The thing is, a lot of men do catfishing. A lot of men pretend to be something that they're not. So at the end of the day, so how does that refute my argument? It, well, What's your point? How does, that, how does that? How does that? I love refute you, my but argument? it doesn't. And we all, as women, want to say that that's not what's true, but it is. It is because the thing is, like, when you get something constantly. You get used to it. You don't appreciate it. Thank you. You don't want the nerd. You don't want the nerd next we, door that's you know, being nice to us no, and but, trying to take us out because he's freaking ugly. But we want the fucking guy. All right, that's all right. To look, take us I get out. that you guys agree. No, I'm, I'm going to turn this to girls that disagree. I, now, I, I disagree. I disagree. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. What What did I say that was incorrect there? Because the whole point is women kill chivalry and romance, and I explained why. Go ahead. Just, wait. What are you asking me? Yeah, got you. It. Stupid. So because... I'm giving you the opportunity now to respond mm -hmm. to what I said. It's both parties. Both parties killed it. It's like you're both contributing to the same thing because you're both hurt. You're both lost. It starts from the family foundation. Like if your family is dysfunctional, you're going to naturally want toxic stuff. I'm not talking about the why. I'm telling you what is. Can you <laughs> refute what I just said about why chivalry is dead? Why? And women both, killed it. That's my it's, stance. It's, it's both parties. It's both parties. But who is the larger they, contributor to the death of chivalry and romance? Men or women? I said I said it's women and I gave an argument for why. Yeah. Can you refute that? It's both parties because men hurt that woman and now she turned into a player and now she playing everybody. Now she hurting their good boy and the good boy is hurting others. It's like a chain Cycle. that goes, you know? So mm -hmm. it's both parties. Okay, you said she got hurt. Yeah. Who hurt her? Bad boy, right? Who who picked the bad boy? <laughs> um she didn't know probably. You know, she But who picked him? 
she did because she didn't have oh, a good foundation well, oh, in her family. She picked the bad boy. Because <laughs> she didn't have a good foundation oh, in her family. Oh, shit, I did I not oh, say that women pick who fucks? Okay. She didn't have a good you, foundation well, in her stop. family. Did I, did I not say that? Yeah, that's cool because she didn't know who she was, you know? But they're still picking. Right, but they'll yeah. figure it out. You know what I'm saying? If, they, if they're not continue being lost in that path. My argument is that women killed romance and chivalry and you just proved it again in your statement. It's not just women. <laughs> Have you ever lied parties. or manipulated to get laid? Yeah. Have you ever lied or manipulated? Yeah. To... Yeah. Every single guy's done that. Yes. Okay, right, right. So there's no onus on the man for doing that. Again, what did I say before? Men are deductive problem solvers, correct? No. So if men want to get laid, they realize that being honest with women, being a nice guy doesn't work. So how do they adapt? And then, and, manipulating. and then women who are these beautiful young ladies age realize and start to, to put together the patterns and the pieces that, oh, wait a minute, he is being an asshole. He is manipulating me. Right? He is not a good guy. And then they wake up, they wake up and go, oh, that's not the, I that's know not that it. pattern. I know that gaslighting pattern. Take, I know that Machiavellian years. pattern. Nah, one year. <laughs> so, not true. So, 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 who's fault is it though? Yeah, if fault. she's choosing... The, for example, why? Are, why did, okay, no, I love you no, guys, but the, this is the part on. that like the, drives no, no, me no. crazy she, about your show. Is the is the the black and white thinking and the blaming? It doesn't because do anything. It's, it's not supposed it's to be looking general. at a woman. It's like, why wait, wait, don't you guys make unity? Why don't you guys make it understand that's not that the point of the show? That's, the point. that's contributing to it. I get it that you're trying to bash women. I understand that. That's, that's like that's true, the though. main. No, that's the main thing. Bash women? Yeah. Yeah. It's true though, because no, he's not. focusing on women though. Yeah, because it's you, true that because you're not married. On women. Actually, we're we're hard on men. We're, we're, no, we're, we're hard on men. Actually, the no. point is we're that they're trying Pause. to look at it from a realistic point of view. As me, I'm a woman's woman. I agree with everything, but I also agree with what they're saying. You have to look at it as. At, at a realistic point of view of how things are real, not as a woman's woman and how we see things. Because you guys are all right, but they're also right. You have to look at it. Wait, what? I didn't say they're wrong. Okay. I didn't say they're wrong. I said they're contributing. They're I said both parties women, are though. contributing. I said both parties are contributing. You didn't listen. No, man. I'm listening. Look, I'm just look, saying look. they're not yeah. bashing women, though. The women control well, it who like fucks. It. If you control something, that means you have authority and, most importantly, responsibility. Right. Correct? Well, right. So therefore, if women are the ones that have the authority over who fucks, with authority comes responsibility. You're trying to take accountability from the girl saying, well, they got manipulated and the guy lied. The guy lied and manipulated in direct response to how women mate select, which is what? The bad boy brings it all full circle. W women mate select based off of competencies. A lot of men show sociopathic tendencies. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. That yeah. contributes are, a lot are to the way to. the way the way the man portrays himself. So the women are obviously gonna fall for the way that Yo, the man this portrays is the biggest himself. Hope I've ever seen That's in my life. My the women problem. not taking accountability. Uh